Okay, hey everyone, Jen here. In this short video, I want to talk about how learning is relative and how we shouldn't be comparing ourselves to other people at different stages of their learning and development. So the scenario I'd like to compare is imagine if you're 18 university age and you are going to learn a new game called lacrosse. You've never played it before. You're given the equipment, you run out onto the field, people show you the, the basic rules of the game, and probably within a few hours, you're able to play a full game of lacrosse. However, if you compare that to being six years old and being told at school that you're going to learn a new game called lacrosse, it's probably going to take you a few months to really be able to play a full game of lacrosse. Think about it. You're going to have to learn to throw and catch with, with a stick with a basket on the end of it. You're going to have to develop the fitness to be able to run a full pitch up and down for a match or, or a game. You're going to have to learn some of the nuances of the game, such as what offside means, what are penalties, what is in, what is out. You're going to have to learn some of the field strategy and tactics, such as passing between backs to forwards, how to get through the opposition's defense and score a goal, things like that. On top of that, you're going to have to learn to deal with fatigue, defeat, frustration, annoyance at yourself that you can't do it, annoyance at the opposition if they're not playing by the rules. Ultimately, there are so many skills that we learn when we're children, playing games in the in the schoolyard, playing games such as childhood soccer or football, childhood t-ball or baseball, childhood basketball, tennis, such that by the time we're 18 or, or so and we're going to university and we are learning a new game, we're able to pick it up within an afternoon. We've already developed basic skills like fitness, hand-eye coordination, understanding of a field game and team dynamics, understanding of managing our own emotions about playing a game, frustration of not being able to do things quickly, frustration around losing, frustration about being bumped, dropping the ball. The same principle applies in business. If you see examples and case studies of business owners who say, within 12 months, I started and I scaled my business to over several million dollars, or within the first three years, we were making $30 million, things like that. You don't know what skills they have put into place over years and years of their professional development to be able to start, launch, and succeed within a really short period of time like that. Games like business are not learned in an afternoon, and businesses are not easily scaled within a year. The foundational skills take years of practice and application. Strength, agility, mindset, teamwork, you know, the adage it takes 10 years to become an overnight success. Ultimately, the moral of the story is that none of us should compare our progress to other business owners. You shouldn't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 10. We're all at different stages of our development and be patient with ourselves as we learn to grow and scale a business. I hope you found this valuable. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.